This is Your Health Matters on WSBT News. According to the American Cancer Society, prostate cancer is the most common non-skin cancer in the U.S. Now, 30,000 men will die from it in 2013. But a new treatment being carried out here in Michigan is helping men live longer with the disease. And tonight's focus on cancer, how the patient's immune system is being used to identify and kill the cancer cells. In 2010, Len Sizik was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Well, I've been quite active, and it's emotionally, it's, that's the part that bothers me. After going through radiation and chemotherapy, Len's cancer is now in the advanced stages. But a drug treatment at Michiana Hematology Oncology is helping him fight the cancer. I want them to know, I want them, their families to know that this treatment option is available, and it's available right here. It's called an apheresis treatment. It consists of drawing a patient's blood. Well, it's, it's an all-day thing for us, but it's like a three-hour procedure. And, and I'm in this position for about three hours. The blood is shipped to California. There, the cells are mixed with the medication Provenge. The blood is then sent back to the medical oncologist for reinfusion. They change them, alter them, stimulate them, make them active against this man's prostate cancer. The treatment has only been FDA approved since 2010, and patients are coming from all over the region. That's what you're giving to that patient and their family, the opportunity to say, hey, this treatment alone helps your body to work and fight against this cancer so that you can have that time with your family. It's not designed to be curative. It's designed to prolong his uh, life. As much as 24 months longer, and for 80-year-old Len, that two years can mean an awful lot. I'm not aware of any, anybody that has been cured of prostate cancer, but I sure hope it, it helps me out. Now, any patient in the region fighting advanced prostate cancer can participate in the program at Michiana Hematology Oncology. The only other regional locations are Chicago, Indianapolis, or Grand Rapids.